Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. I want to give a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and see the elect of the nation of Israel, the remnant, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you, and you Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father goes back to you being a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Colorado camp, coming back once again with the, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with another video. And this is a... Uh, you know, a brother sent a screenshot to the uh, group chat yesterday about this movie, and I've seen a few other brothers doing doing videos on it, and it just shows, man, that Esau, he he's setting up for uh, to basically set up a, a smear campaign against the Israelites, man, the men of the Lord, you see? Because that's all this movie is, man, is to get it into these people's mind that we're some type of terrorist group, man, when that's a goddamn lie. All we're doing is speaking the words of the Bible. You see? That's all we're doing. All we're, all we're doing is speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, as we have been commanded to do, man. So we're just going to read the plot of this story, I mean, the uh, plot of the movie, and we're going to pull some scriptures in how about Shemiah Shah willing to be edifying. So this is the movie St. Paul, and it reads, an ambitious, an ambitious college student infiltrates the black Israelites, and, and we're not black Israelites, man. You see? There's no such thing as a, a black person, man. We're different shades of brown, you see? Propaganda and demonization, man. To try to tie this to some all-black movement, man. No. You see, we are different shades of brown, man. So-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. This ain't a fucking black thing, man. You see? So an ambitious college student infiltrates the Israelites... For his thesis uh, paper, but as he befriends a devout member, he comes to suspect that a splinter faction is plotting a terrorist attack. And this is what Esau, and, and, and this is just Esau's demonization, his propaganda, man. You see? And this is why you shouldn't be at the fucking gun range on camera video, videotaping yourself at the fucking gun range, man. This is why you're not supposed to be taking fucking weapons to count, man. You see? Because Esau is looking for any excuse to come down upon the men of the Lord. It's going to happen anyway. But don't give this nigga a reason to come down <laughs> because you out here being carnal, man. You see? And some of them niggas set up, man. Some of you some of you jakes that claim to be Israelites, man, you you, you agents, man. That's why you, do the, that's why you do the shit you do, man. You see? That's why you do the shit you do because you're agents, man. You're spies amongst us, man. You see? So let's go to uh So yeah, you got the synopsis of the story, man. Esau's trying to portray us as a uh, terrorist uh terrorist group, and he has men set up amongst us to do stupid ass shit like take weapons to camp and go to fucking gun ranges and, 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 and uh start fights on the street, man. To try to demonize us, you see? But 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We, we, we know exactly what these damn devils are trying to do, man. We know exactly what these Edomites are trying to do. They want to demonize us for speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And you Jakes ain't helping by going out here and, and with your stupid ass tactics. By, by filming yourself on, on camera with weapons and all type of shit, talking about. And you got niggas rapping, talking about. Uh, just showing weapons on camera. Oh, man, that's not our blessing, man. That's Esau. You see? And we know Esau didn't set you niggas up, man. And we know Esau, the only reason he's putting this movie together is to put it in the mind of the people to have them think that we're a, uh, a terrorist group, man. You see? So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We know exactly what you devils are trying to do. You see? And we'll be the first one to tell you that hey, we're not out here to get cornered, man. That's that's not what we're here for. We're here to preach the words of the Most High. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse four: For the weapons of our warfare are not are not carnal. You see, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We ain't out here brandishing no weapons, man. 
You see, we don't need no fucking weapons. We don't need no ammunition. We don't need none of that, man. You see, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. But mighty through the most high to the pulling down the strongholds. You see, our weapon is the spirit, man. And that's what we're doing, man. You see, we're pulling down all these strongholds, all these lies, all these delusions that Esau has set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, by preaching his word. That's all it takes. That's all we have to do is preach the word of the most high, man. You see? All we have to do is go out there in the highways and byways and preach the word. All we have to do is put up these videos on YouTube and preach the word, man. You see? That's all That's all the weapon we need, man. The weapon of the spirit, man. We don't need nothing else. You see? Now, you might have Esau. He Well, I ain't going to say might. You have Esau setting up these, these uh, offshoot Israelite groups to go out here and do carnal shit. But they're not the men of the Lord, man. Because a true man of the Lord will take heed to what the scriptures say. You see? And the scriptures tell us the weapons of our warfare are, warfare are not carnal, man. So we're not, finna, we're not finna be out here, especially the men of GMS, we're not finna be out here getting carnal, man. You see? We're walking as Yahweh Shah walked, man. In the spirit. You see? Verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that is out of itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And that's what we're doing, man. We're preaching the truth of the Bible, and we're and we're demolishing all the strongholds, all the lies, all the deceit, all the deception that Esau has set up in this place, man. We're doing away with all that just by preaching the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You see, anything that goes against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, anything that's opposed to the Most High, we're tearing it down with His truth, man, with the Most High's truth, as we have been commanded to do. You see, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Meaning what? To the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. To the truth. You see? And that's all we're doing. And that's why we're hated, man. You see? That's why these Edomites feel some type of way. Because we're speaking the truth of the Bible. The truth that they tried to hide for so long. But there's nothing you can do against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? You can't control the spirit, man. You see? And since he can't do that, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's what this whole movie is about, man. You see? This shows that Esau has but a short time and he has to start the demonization of the Israelites, man. He has to start the demonization of the uh, men of the Lord so he can put the idea in the mind of the people so he can be justified in coming up against us, man. You see? Because all we're doing, man, is reading the scriptures. What's the problem, man? You see? This man is the damn devil. He's the wicked the Bible speaks of, and the most high hates him, man. And we're exposing his ass through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. We're shining light on all his wickedness. He's been exposed. He can no longer hide himself. You see? So he has to come down having great wrath. Because he knows his time is short, man. He knows that his kingdom is, is, is up out of here, man. You see? So all he has left to do now is be carnal, man. Is to use that blessing our forefather Isaac gave him. You see? That's all he has left, man. Is to be carnal. But he has to put this propaganda out. Just like he does when, when, he, when it's time to demonize a foreign nation. What did he do? He started his propaganda campaign, man. It's the same thing with the Israelites. He's doing the same thing with us, man. You see? Because he knows that he had but a short time. You see? Esau, you up out of here, man. Psalms 30, 37 and 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, talking about the Israelites, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Who is this talking about? The men of the Lord, man. You see? Esau wants to slay us because we have upright conversation, meaning the, the, the uh, heavenly conversation, man, a uh, conversation that comes from the heavens. Talking about the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the true doctrine of the Bible, man. You see? The doctrine that, that all you people outside of the truth hate. You see? Well, you even got men who, who claim to be Israelites and they hate the truth of the Bible, man. You see? That's why Esau is coming down upon us, man. Because we have exposed him through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? We have shined light on his wickedness, man. To let you people know that everything that's going on on this planet Earth is fucking wicked. It's, it's, it's completely opposed to the Most High, man. You see? And the Most High has commanded us to cry aloud and spare not, man. You see? 
The Most High has commanded us to do this, man. Now this devil is mad. Now he wants to slay us, man. And he's setting everything up. You see? He's setting everything up for this to take place. You see? So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We know exactly what you devils want to do, man. Because the Most High has schooled us, you see, on what's about to happen, man. You see? Let's jump to Second Ezra's. And I just wrote these, and I was, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit, and I have them in no type of order. I just wrote them down as they came to me. Second Ezra chapter 16, and we'll start at uh, 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. You see? Talking about who? Talking about you Israelites, man. A, a, a burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you Israelites, including, including two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because Esau, not only is he going to come down upon the men who are acknowledging that they're Israelites and following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's going to come down upon you two thirds who, 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 uh, who refuse to repent, man. The Most High going to have this devil come down upon you as well, man. You see? And these, dev these devils are mad, man. They're angry, man. Because they have been exposed. They're angry because they have but a short time, man. You see? And they're waiting for the perfect opportunity. To come down upon you jakes, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? All you jakes that's on the comment boards, uh, talking shit and playing around with the, uh, the word of the Lord, man. You see, taking this for a joke. Esau gonna come down upon you, man, because what? You know why? Because you clicked on the Israelite video. You see? All you jakes that's watching this for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Want to get your laugh for the day or whatever you watching it for. He gonna come down upon you, man. You see? All you just not, that's, that's, that's taking this for a game and not taking this seriously, he going to come down upon you, man. Because the great the, the, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, man. And these devils are about to turn up, man. You see? And they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered to, unto idols, man. They're going to be snatching your ass up, throwing you into these FEMA camps, man. Just trying to offer you, uh, uh, pushing that RFID chip on you, man. And all you niggas who talk shit and mocked and scoff. And took the word of the Lord for a joke. You gonna take that chip, man. You see? You gonna take that chip, man. This is the type of shit Esau is, is, is trying to justify, man. This is why he's putting out this propaganda, man. You see? This is why he's putting out that propaganda, man. So he can be justified in coming down upon us, man. You see? Verse 69. And they that consent unto him shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Even you sellouts, man. Even you coon-ass niggas, you sambo-ass niggas who sell out and consent unto Esau, you're going to be had in derision as well, man. He going to get your ass too. You see? That's why the scriptures tell you never to trust thine enemy, man. And now you jakes who want to come up against us, want to save the so-called white man, this damn, the same devil that you're trying to protect, the same devil that you're trying to, uh, trying to love and be integrated with, he going to come down and destroy your ass too, man. You see? Verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Talking about the Israelites, man. This is going to be happening all throughout the country, man. You see, this is what Esau is preparing for because he knows that he have but a short time, man. This is what we're telling you, Jakes. This shit is not coincidence right here. This this St. Paul movie, damn. This St. Paul movie is not a coincidence, man. Esau is ready to roll. He sent up his propaganda, man. You see, this is not coincidence, man. He's 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 showing you exactly what he wants to do, man. He comes he 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 comes to suspect that a splinter faction is plotting a terrorist attack, nigga. What? <laughs> Come on, man. You see, and it's the same fucking thing. It's the same template every fucking time Esau demonized somebody. Look look what he did in the Middle East. Oh, they have weapons of mass destruction. We have to go over here. They're they're terrorists. This and the other, just to go in to destroy those people, man. The same shit he's trying to do to Iran. He has labeled Iran's uh, military a terrorist group. You see? This is, the, this is the M.O. of the fucking devil, man. This is what he do. He uses the same fucking play. You see? Every fucking time, man. You see? Goddamn halfback sweep. Every fucking time, man. He's doing the same thing unto us, man. Trying to label us a terrorist group. Shit, if I ain't mistaken, uh... Matter of fact, let me see some Southern 
poverty. Poverty. Law Center. Right? Spirit service. Let me see, let me see. It's lucky. Hate groups. Yup. There it is right here. He already already got us on the hate group list. You see? It is. Well, I can't find it, but oh, look at that. Well, look at that. I can guarantee it's gonna be up under the black nationalist. But it's somewhere on this fucking site. It is. I know. I know they had us on this on this list, but it's uh, the demonization is already starting, man. You see, it's already starting. And you can go find it on. I know it's on this on this uh on this site, but it's already starting, man. Esau has already set up little fucking incidents to happen, like the covenant uh the covenant shit that happened in Washington, man. That shit was set up, man. You see, and look how they ran that shit on CNN. You see? Then they bought this weak ass Israelite on Fox News and talking about what's the beef. It's already happening, man. You see? It's already happening, man. This is what the devil is doing. But going on. Verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You see? Talking about you Israelites, man. You see? But Yahweh Shah, man, he told us that this would happen. You see? Yahweh Shah already told us that this would happen, man. Now you just that's playing around, you fucking around and bullshitting, man. You're going to be caught up in this, man. Matthew 10 and 24. I'll start 20. I'll just read 22 real quick. Matthew 10 and 22. And you should be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth unto the end... He that endureth to the end shall be saved. Verse 24. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. If, if it is enough for the disciple that he it is enough that for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house be as above, how much more shall they call them of his household? They demonize Yahweh Shah as well, man. They say Yahweh Shah was casting out uh uh Casting out uh, demons by the power by the power of Satan, man. You see, they call you Yahweh Shah Beelzebub, man. They demonize him. So are, are we not followers of Yahweh Shah? Are we not walking the same path Yahweh Shah walk? So they're gonna demonize us as well, just like Yahweh Shah said. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his lord. So just like they, they did Yahweh Shah the same way, they're gonna do us the same way, man. They're gonna do us the same way they did Yahweh Shah, man. And we seeing this. Uh, uh, Starting to unfold here on the planet Earth, man. You see? John 15 and 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. You see? This is the real letter, man. This is the Messiah speaking, man. The one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah. You see? Since they persecuted him and we and we're his followers, they're gonna persecute us as well, man. Verse twenty one. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. You see. Because this place is fucking wicked, man, and that's why they're coming up against us because we 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 are of upright conversation. You see, 
and they hate the things that we bring out of these scriptures, man. You got all these people claiming to love the Bible. They claim the love was written in the book. Then when we bring it out, they they hate it, man, because they don't they they truly hate the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. They truly hate Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. You see, these people don't know the Most High, man. If they did, they wouldn't be living the way they be they're living, man. And the Most High has set up His prophets to condemn the the lifestyle that's being portrayed on this planet Earth, man. To tell you that this is this is not the way, man. You see? But they hate hearing it, man. You see? Why is that? Wisdom of Solomon. Oh, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Come on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, and I start at 12. Therefore, a lot of... And, and this is the wicked speaking, you see? Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn, you see? And he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided of us with our offending the law, and objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. And this is what we're doing, man. This is what the Most High has set the prophets up to do, you see? To condemn the wicked-ass way of this world, man. To condemn the wicked-ass lifestyle of Esau Edom, because everything that you see around you is an Edomite lifestyle, man. You see, because the Edomites are in rulership, and this is the and the lifestyle that they push is a wicked ass lifestyle, man, because it goes against the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see, and they're standing in the right of the lot, the, the the lot of the righteous. We're condemning it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is why this devil is gonna come down upon us, having great wrath, man. This is why this devil is gonna be like a madman, sparing none, because he's been exposed for the devil he truly is, man. You see. And it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shah, man. Because at the end of the day, they ain't mad at us. You see? They mad at the Most High, man. They don't want to hear the words of righteousness, man. They, they want to they wanna continue to hear, it's okay to just do what the fuck you want to do, when that's not the truth, man. You see? Verse 13. He professes to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calleth himself the child of the Lord. And we are, man. And we do have the knowledge of the Most High. You see? That's why you mad. That's why you want to try to uh, deem us as a terrorist group, man. Because if we didn't have the truth, if we didn't have the knowledge of the Most High, it wouldn't be a problem, man. You see? If we was coming in the name of Jesus Christ, there would be no problem. If we was, if we was coming in the name of Allah or any of those false religions, it would be no problem. See, Esau has no problem with lies, man. Esau has a problem with the truth. And us here at Great Millstone, we have 100% truth. Beginning with our elder apostle heart and the man under him on down, man. You see? Esau don't have a problem with these lies, man. That's why all these false religions can come up. You see? That's why you can have motherfuckers out here worshiping trees and Esau has no problem with it. You see? That's why you have you can have motherfuckers out here worshiping a damn stone and Esau won't have a problem with it. But once once the Israelites uh, are woken up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Washah and start turning back into their power, uh, power, then it becomes a problem. You see? Once we started calling ourselves Israelites, then it became a problem. You see? Once he started preaching the truth of the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it became a problem. You see? And he wants to put a stop to it. Verse 14. He was made to reprove our thoughts. And you damn right. That's what the most I created us for, man. To reprove the thoughts of the wicked, man. You see? Matter of fact, Hebrews. 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit, and of the thoughts and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see, because when we, when we bring this word out in all truth and sincerity, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah it proves that you people are wicked by how you react to it, man. You see, you Edomites don't want to hear the word, man. You want to you want to hear what well, what do you think? How do you feel? It don't fucking matter what we think or how we feel, man. All that, all that matters is the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Like I like to say, the only word on the planet Earth that holds any weight is the word of the Heavenly Father, man. It's the words that are written in this book. That's the only word that holds any weight on this planet Earth. Man's words don't hold no weight, man. Esau's words don't hold no weight. And the Most High has proven that, man. Because everything the Most High said is going to come to pass is coming to pass, man. Letting you know that his word is the only word that matters, man. You see? And when we speak this word, 
it is it's a discerner of your thoughts and intents of the heart, and it proves that you people are fucking wicked, man. Just see how you people react when this word is bowed out. You see? So, it's Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 14. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion, because we are walking in the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as we have been commanded to do ever since we were brought up, about the, brought up out of the land of Egypt, man. You see? That's the way we was always supposed to walk, man. We was also always supposed to walk in this way, man. We was always supposed to be separated from you heathen, man. You see? That's how the Most High set it up. He has severed us from you heathen, man. You are not... <laughs> You are not a part of us, man. You have never been a part of us. You will never be a part of us, man. You see? That's why the Most High gave us the law, the and commandments to separate us from you damn heathen. You see? So, yes, our ways are of another fashion, man. Our ways are of, are of the heavens, man. You see? And Esau hates that shit, man. <laughs> you see? Esau hates it. Verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits, and you, damn, and you are. You see? He abstained from our ways as from filthiness, and your way is filthiness, man. Look at the shit you promote in the earth. Look at the shit you Edomites promote in the earth. Homosexuality, transgenderism, pedophilia, bestiality. You can eat all type of abominable foods. A man can be a woman. A woman can be a man. Your way is filthy, man. Your way is fucking disgusting. You see? You see? And we are against it, man. This is why he wants to come down having great wrath, man. Because he can't take the light, man. He can't deal with the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Everything that Esau pushes on this planet Earth is fucking wickedness, man. You see? Everything is destroyed under this devil, man. Because he cast the words of the Most High behind him, man. And we have been set up, the prophets have been set up to reprove everything you're doing, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, we're going to continue to do so, man. You see? He pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed, and it is. And maketh his boast that the Most High is his Father. You see? So that's why these devils are mad, man, because we're turning back and repenting unto our power, man. We're walking in the way that was given unto our forefathers, man. And this devil hates it, man, because Esau wants wickedness to reign on the earth forever. You see? But going back to what I said, the word of the Most High don't hold no weight because the Most High wants the righteous to reign on the earth forever. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. You see? It's not written for the wicked to prevail, man. It's written, it's written for the wicked to be cast down and destroyed, man. You see? 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. That day that, that shall not come is talking about the day of the, the second coming of the Messiah, man. That falling away that happened was us falling away from who we truly were. You see? Us losing everything, man. And that man of sin and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, talking about Esau Edom. And this is the time that we're living in now, man. Esau is being exposed. He's being revealed as the son of perdition, man. That man of sin. You see? This is the time we're living in. This is why he's coming down having great wrath, man. This is why he's going to be like a madman sparing none. You see? Because he has been backed in the corner through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And all he's going to have, all he has left to do is lash out and be carnal as he was, as he was created to do. You see? Verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped so that he is, so, or, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. And this is what Esau thinks he is, man. Esau really thinks that he is the Heavenly Father, man. Esau really thinks that he is a God, you see? You see? <laughs> but, you, but you're not, man. And the Most High is about to prove that, man. And the, Most High is a pro and, the, and the Most High is proving that by having his men stand on the highways and byways and condemning your wicked ass, man. You see? This is why you want to get this this is why you coming up with all these damn guidelines on YouTube to get the men of the Lord off YouTube. This is why you're trying to draw up legislation to, to get us off the highways and byways, man. You see? Because of the righteousness that we're speaking, man. 
Verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And this is the time that we're living in, man. He is being revealed on all sides, man. You got Akim all throughout the four corners of the earth condemning this devil, man. Bringing out the wickedness that he's done all throughout history, man. You see? This is that time, man. This is the time for the wicked to be revealed, man. You see? And it's all happening through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. This is why he's coming up with his propaganda campaign to demonize the Hebrew Israelites, man. You see? To try to make it seem like it's a, oh, this is a black power movement. No, man. Because we, we first of all, we're not black. We're, we're different shades of brown, man. Ain't no such thing as a black person. Ain't no such thing as a white person. You see? We are different shades of brown. Just like you're a different, di uh, different shades of red, man. You see? Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So Esau, you have more prophecies to fulfill, bro. You see? The most I'm going to let you do your thing is to, until it's time for your ass to be taken out of the way. You see? And that time is coming very, very soon, man. You see? You are not doing you are not doing anything outside of the Most High's will, man. You are subject to pro uh, prophecy, just like everything else, man. Because you are not a god, man. You are only a man. You see, and the Most High is proving that, man. You doing shit, and you don't even know why you doing it, man. It's because you are subject to prophecy, man. You see, you are subject to the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. You see, verse eight, and then that wicked, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's what's happening now, man. You see? The prophet speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is consuming the wicked, man. You see? It's shining the light on all the wickedness that's happening on the planet Earth, man. You see? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's the second coming of Yahweh Shah, man. Because when Yahweh Shah cracked them clouds, it's a wrap for you, Edomites, man. You see? It's a wrap for you, Edomites, man. Verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And the only ones who can be saved is you Israelites. So this is talking about you, man, because you want to side with the enemy. You want to side, you want to, you want to side with the master, man, with your master. Let me say that. You see, you sambo ass niggas, man. Because you're, you're going to have our own people coming up against us to uh, to side with the damn devil, man. You see? Because you have you have been deceived to thinking this man is a righteous man. You see? You have been deceived to think that the way that you see life going is, is, is supposed to be this way. No, man. This is a wicked way and you have been deceived by the damn devil, man. You have been deceived by the so-called white man. You see? Verse 11. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. And that's, a, and that's exactly what's happening, man. This is why you have our own people coming up against us. You see? This is why you have our own people coming up against us and trying to condemn us, man. And trying to protect this damn devil, man. You see? Because the Most High sent them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, man. You see? Verse 12. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's exactly where you two-thirds are right now, man. You have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. You have pleasure in the so-called white man, the damn demon, the damn devil, man, Satan, you see? The being on the planet Earth who is completely opposed to your power, man. The, 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 the man that's on, the, the, the people on the planet Earth that's completely opposed to you being the Israelites, man. Who wants to destroy you Israelites, you see? But you love this damn devil, man. He wants you to continue to stay in that low, dumbed-down state, man. And you love to be there, man. But fuck that, man. The remnant, we're, hey, we're returning unto the Most High, man. And we're going to continue to do this work in all truth and sincerity, man. And we're going to continue to expose you damn devils, man. You see? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you see? Because at the end of the day, this is what we have coming for us, man. So Esau, bring it, man. Do what the fuck you do, man. Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. We hunger and thirst after righteousness. We're tired, we're tired of being 
in this wicked ass place, man. We're tired of seeing the wickedness that goes on in this place, man. You see? We want our kingdom, man. You see? Fuck Babylon the Great. Fuck Esau's power structure. Fuck, every fuck everything about Esau, man. You see? We look for a new heavens and a new earth where in dwell of righteousness, man. This is what we're fighting for. For that eternal rest, man. For us to be completely righteous in the sight of Yahweh Bashimi I was shot, man. You see? So we're going to continue to do this work as we have been commanded to do, man. Verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Mosai. Blessed are the peacekeepers, for they shall be called the children of the Mosai. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And this is why we are being persecuted, man. We are being persecuted, we are being demonized, we are being called terrorists for righteousness' sake, man. You see, because all we're doing is speaking the words of the Holy Bible, man. All we're doing is speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You see? And we're being persecuted for it. But what does the scripture tell you? Matthew 5 and 10. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see? Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. You see? You're calling us terrorists and want to demonize us, but that's those are false accusations, man. You see, you're bearing false witness. All we're doing is standing on the street corners, uh, reading the Bible, telling you what the Mosai is about to do. You see, and that's righteous in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua because we're speaking His words, man. We're not coming with our own vain thoughts and opinions, man. We're telling you what the Mosai has to say. You see, and you hate hearing the words of the Mosai, so you're persecuting us for it. But it tells you, since we're persecuted for righteousness' sake, ours is the kingdom of heaven, man, and this is what we're fighting for. You see, so Matthew five and eleven, blessed are ye. When men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my for my sake. You see, and this is the red letter. So this is Yahweh Shah speaking, man. Verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted the prophets which were for, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So this ain't nothing new, man. Our forefathers were persecuted the same way for following Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And we're walking in that same lot, lot they walk, that straight gate. So, hey, we have to go through the persecution as well, just like Yahweh Shah went through it, man. The servant is not greater than his master, you see? So, yeah, man, Esau wants to persecute us. Do what you do, man. It's all a part of prophecy anyway, you see? So, with that, I want to give all praises, all, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. I'm going to give a sincere piece and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's sea line goes back to you being a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American. With that, I'm going to say Shalom Wam, Wa Ba Ba Ba, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Shalak Rayam. Wa Inashium, Wa Abadium, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapatium, all call Adawamium, Wa Gawayim, Wa Ayabium, Nawa, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha, say the water, Yaha Bashimi Hawashah, the water, the water, the water, Bashimi Hawashah, the water, Shalom.